This is example two from lesson R.4. In this example, we're supposed to simplify. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking a fraction and you're just trying to reduce it to lowest terms by canceling out the like factors in the numerator and in the denominator. And the way we're gonna do that is we have to factor the numerator and the denominator to see if they have any factors that can be canceled. All right, so in A, the numerator looks like we can pull out the greatest common factor x and then we will have x minus 8 left over and then for the denominator down there the factors of negative 8 that add together and give us negative 7 well that's going to be negative 8 and positive 1 and then my variable is going to be x so I can see that my parentheses here, x minus 8 and x minus 8 are the same. That means that these two will cancel one another out. This is going to leave me with the fraction x on the top and x plus 1 on the bottom. Now remember, we're only canceling factors, so these two x's will not cancel one another out. This x is not a factor. It's actually an add-end. An add-end because the plus sign right here, these two things are being added together, so we cannot cancel those out and this fraction is now in lowest terms. For b, these are not polynomials, but we can still use this technique to try and reduce this fraction. Too many times people want to cancel the 3 and the 6 right here, and they forget all about the 9. So the best thing you can do is actually factor it. And once again, I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor up here in the numerator. And it looks like 3 can go into 3, and it can also go into 9. And we're not worried about whether or not it goes into 5 because 5 is underneath the radical. All right, so this is going to give me 3. And then we have 1 plus 3 times the square root of 5 here. And then on the bottom we have a 6. And now 3 is a factor. It's being multiplied by the parentheses. So now I can actually cancel. 3 will go into 3 one time. 3 goes into 6 twice. And so I am left with 1 times 1 plus 3 times the square root of 5 on the top, and then a 2 in the denominator. And we really don't need these parentheses because 1 times the parentheses is just going to give me the numerator there. So my answer here is going to be 1 plus 3 times the square root of 5 divided by 2.